in terms of the, the storyline for the movie, I always felt like it was important to have this kind of climatic moment, kind of this emergence from this vehicle that then just erupts in fire. I um, talked to my friend, uh, Joe Weissen, who I've been friends with for a long time, and Joe's a very skilled pyrotechnician. And I said to Joe, hey, you know, do you think we can blow up a car on your, on your farm? And uh, he said, sure. Yeah, when we got ready to do the stunt, we were using another vehicle to, to push this car to get up to speed to crash it into a tree. It was on hard, flat earth. So it hadn't rained in months. And the night before we do the stunt, we had two inches of rain. Half the time, both vehicles would get stuck in the mud before they could hit the tree that they were supposed to, that the, you know, the stunt car was supposed to run into. What we decide to do is, after a bit of problem solving, it's like, oh, okay, why don't we just turn it on its side and push the car into the tree, crush the hood, and make it look like it, it, it's the aftermath of the actual accident. They fortunately had a, uh, some kind of a lifter, and we tipped it over and then pushed it into the tree so it looked as though it had been, it had crashed there. Um, and then it was detonated, you know, that was about the prep for it. No, well, we have to They're shoot stuff before he right. actually they puts really the charges in. And we have to have, the stuff that we'll shoot first is Billy's the hood figure the crawling out of this. So we're going to need to dress all this so it's not so, like, like all worn down step one. One of the things we were doing that day was, uh, you know, the hood figure has to fall out of the car, stagger around, falls down, and the car blows up. So, you know, I got to fall out of the car a bunch of times. Um, one time I did hurt myself, landed on a rock. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, working with Joe Weissen, he's very, he's done a lot of pyrotechnic stuff. So when he said, you know, I'm gonna blow up the car and the windows aren't gonna blow out more than 10 feet, so after that point, you know, you'll be safe I did feel safe. So then we went into a thing where we had to shoot George um, for the opening of the film trapped in the car. It, you know, so I know he's not necessarily the most comfortable with small spaces. So putting him in there was already a difficult thing for him. But then pumping all this smoke towards him, you know, I, at some points he had to stop because he, he was nauseous and I thought he was going to vomit. The smoke that was coming in was with, along with the, 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 the action that I had to portray at that same time was, was making me gag. It was unbelievably physical um, and claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, once again. Yeah, the thing is, is when he when he gives more gas, it's actually going to push the flame out. Right, right. So we'll do the dripping first, and then we'll have a little bit of a, a little bit of a flame going at that point, almost like it's trickling, and then we'll crank up the flame, and, and then I'll obviously tell you to pull away. Let's, 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 let's do the water. You tell me what you're doing yeah, there? what exactly are you doing? I am getting ready to wire a gas charge on this car. So you have a certificate to do mm -hmm. this? You're, you're uh, what do they call that? You're certified. Oh. Well, I'm a certified pyrotechnician. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, well, everything on the car is taken apart. Is that no engine, no transmission, no gas tank. So the only thing I wanted to convert is the interior. So what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, double checking this wiring harness. It's going to have two gas bombs on them, which would be dead cord and plastic caps, surrounding a one gallon milk jug full of gasoline. So each one's got uh, about five feet, 100 grain dead cord wrapped around it. And then these are number eight blasting caps. These here, these go get wired to a blasting cap inside the engine compartment, which sets off the engine compartment gas bomb. And then this one over here goes into the car. You ever use C4? Um, yeah, I've, uh, once in a while, but it's not too prevalent in cinema. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have a camera on the dolly. Uh -huh. Two on tripods out here. Yes, one I'm probably one on the low hat, and, and then one, one up there. And one on the left. <laughs> and that, for the explosion, there'll be a fifth one that will probably be placed on this road. Yeah, it's going to be back here. 
You're gonna move it after the explosion, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to risk doing a dolly move and not having it work right. Once we had the charges in it, we had rehearsed it. Then it came down to just waiting for the right time, and and then we blew it. Now, I should also mention that we never really quite had permits to blow that car, and so there was a time limit that we knew that once that car exploded and those thick black clouds of smoke were bellowing out of it, that people were going to be coming. Okay, and action! I thought the funny part was when the fire marshal came. Oh yeah, you had to tell us about that. And he was looking for the fire. We had the fire out minutes after, you know, you yelled cut. So he came looking for this raging inferno because I got reports, everything from an airplane had crashed to a propane cylinder, you know, a big hundred pounder had exploded. So he was looking for this, you know, this carnage and, you know, this apocalyptic scene somewhere. And by the time he came to us, you know, it was all under, it was, the fire was out. And if it wasn't a film crew standing there, he wouldn't have known anything had happened there. 